Doctor. Oh, I have one brave woman. Come on down. Don't mind that music. Yeah, it's just going to set the mood. Hi, you can stand right here for me. What's your name? Well, Melissa, today what we're going to do is we are about to bring out the fierce and daring predators. They're called raptors. And in the natural world, they help keep the balance by eating the sick, the weak, <laughs> and the extra. Yeah, um, those would be chickens. And I think they're giving you a hint. They're running for their lives. Yeah. Well, no, we're going to bring out the raptors. Now, raptors, they're perfectly designed as hunting and killing machines. Okay? They have excellent eyesight. So, although you can't see him, he's actually watching you. Yeah, even as we speak. And, yeah, your babies look like they're really scared for you. Don't worry, because they all, the raptors, they all have very sharp, sharp beaks. You're used for tearing flesh and bone apart. Yeah, and the last thing you really have to watch out for is all raptors have very strong, powerful feet on our sharp claws called talons. All right, so, since your children are in the audience, would you like some safety gear? Yeah, we don't want to have any bad memories. All right, here we go. That goes on your left hand. Now, that is an animal control Kevlar glove. Dog's teeth cannot penetrate that glove. I'm sure the raptor's talons can't either. We're going to hope. Okay, but the problem with this is when raptors go after their prey, they don't go for the arm. No, they go for your face, like your eyes and the back of your neck. Yeah, well, well you want to see, we want you to see this coming, so we're just going to have you wear that. And that kind of gives, yeah, Kodak moment. <laughs> I just want you to keep both your eyeballs. And unfortunately, we're nonprofit, so um, we have no funding, so we have nothing for the back of your neck. Okay. So go ahead and stand right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your arm and face it forward. Now make sure you're face forward so he doesn't grab you from the back of the neck. Yeah. Okay, on the count of three, he's coming down here. Now, I just gave you all my gear, so I am just going to hide behind the tree. I'm going to leave you on your own. We'll see how you fare. All right? Count of three. One, two, three. Here he comes. Uh, there he is. This is Quentin. And although small and seems harmless, he's actually a falcon and a ferocious predator to flying insects and mice. Not humans. He is very cute. Well, you did a very good job for me. I'll take all that gear for you, and I will actually give you a bookmark with Quentin's picture on it. You're welcome. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you. The American Kestrel is the most common falcon found in North America, and you can usually see them sitting on power lines, bobbing their heads and tails, or hovering over a field, searching for their next meal. Although common, they can still use their help. See, kestrels are cavity nesters, and they are quickly losing their nest sites. So you can construct a nest box like the one you see them in to attract this little bird to your property. As a matter of fact, we have plans available to help you along. You can pick up in the gift store on your way out of the aviary today, and you can help support kestrels across America program and supply a kestrel with a safe home to raise his family in. And that was a great demonstration from Quentin, the littlest falcon. And this 